Welcome friends. Today we are going to start with medical microbiology learning series for all the MBBAs, medical as well as paramedical students. The first topic that you will see in any textbook is history of microbiology and it is very important to understand this topic because then and then we know how the things were discovered and what are the important contributions of microbiologists. So first of all, we know that medical microbiology is the study of microbes. It deals with uh, diseases that they cause, how to diagnose them, how to prevent them, how to treat them, and how our immune system or host will respond to this microbial or antigen attack. So let us start with the first scientist. So the first scientist that we are going to talk about is Anthony Van Leeuwen Hock. And he was a draper in Holland and he was used to uh, do the grinding of lenses and he is the first scientist to observe the microorganism using a single lens microscope constructed by him he called these microorganisms or bacteria little animal cules this is the first microscope which was discovered by uh, Leeuwen Hock uh, as you can see, it has a focus knob, it has a sample translator, sample holder, and a small lens. In 1683, he also provided descriptions of various bacteria seen through his microscope. Observed diverse material with it like various cells like WBC, red blood cells, sperm cells, as well as other bacteria. And he also communicated these findings to Royal Society of London. <coughs> Pardon me. The second scientist we are going to talk about is Edward Jenner and we know Edward Jenner due to his contribution because this is the person who has developed the first vaccine. The smallpox vaccine was discovered by Edward Jenner. What he has done, he has used a cowpox virus and he introduced this cowpox virus uh, in children and which provided immunity against the smallpox virus so he is the person who has first time coined the term vaccine so edward jenner's contribution is towards vaccination then ignaz samuelis uh, he was from vena and his contribution is in purpural sepsis he found out the mode of transmission that is basically the contact with hand workers uh, contact with uh, hands of the healthcare workers uh, who were performing the delivery. So he suggested we should use hand washing with antiseptic solution and which has decreased the incidence of purpural sepsis. Then came the father of microbiology, the Louis Posture. He is a doctor, he was an inventor, he was a chemist as well as a scientist. Born in 1822, died in 1895, he was a French person and basically he was a chemistry professor in the France. So before uh, Louis Pasteur, people used to think that disease happened spontaneously. So there was a spontaneous generation of disease theory was there and Louis Pasteur disproved that theory. And he proved it wrong and he postulated the germ theory of disease. So he stated that disease cannot be caused by bad air or bad vapor, but it is due to the microorganisms which are present in the air. So he has performed an experiment in which um, there is an open jar uh, in which there are eggs and flies enter there and they hatch the maggots. Then he covered the jar with gauze, no flies entered and eggs were safe. And when he sealed the jar, then no flies, no maggots or eggs could enter. So uh, this was the theory which disproves the spontaneous generation. He also performed the same type of experiment using broths. So open flask allowed air and any bacteria present in the air into the flask. If the flask is closed, it remains sterile. So that's how he postulated the germ theory of disease. He also proposed the principle of fermentation for food preservation. So all the bakery products, all the alcoholic products that you uh, use today or uh, consume today are basically understood better by the studies on fermentation which are done by the Lewis posture. 
he also provided us pasteurization of milk and sterilization uh, in form of autoclave that is steam sterilizer hot air oven so the and these methods are even used today tremendously uh, in routine practice so pasteurization and sterilization techniques are given by the Lewis posture he studied the rabies disease that is hydrophobia which is usually caused by a virus and usually the dog bites uh, transmits this virus so he also uh, studied rabies in detail why it happens how it happens he also uh, understand the process of attenuation of rabies virus and he has first made uh, live rabies vaccine and that uh, made him like a superhero uh, uh, in this in those days because rabies was 100 percent fatal and uh, he has discovered a way to prevent rabies so vaccine development apart from rabies was also done for anthrax and foul cholera by the louis pasteur so louis pasteur has contributed uh, tremendously uh, throughout his years for the microbiology he also discovered that how to grow microorganism using liquid medium or nutrient growth uh, and based on his contribution uh, in microbiology he uh, was honored by this Pasteur Institute uh, which is situated at present in Paris in France then we have Joseph Lister he is considered father of antiseptic surgery because he introduced antiseptic techniques in surgery so what he has done uh, he has used first disinfectant that is phenol or carbolic acid so he has observed that uh, post-operative infections were uh, very high in incidence during his era and he suggested that if we spray the carbolic acid uh, on the instruments or drapes and to clean the wounds or dressings uh, during surgery it will reduce the post-operative infection and they were actually reduced by using carbolic acid so he is the uh, father of antiseptic surgery then we have Robert Koch who is considered as a father of bacteriology he was a German general practitioner uh, he perfected the bacteriological techniques and his contributions are not less than Louis Pasteur if not more than that and he also studied anthrax bacillus in detail he also discovered a technique which can decide whether bacteria is motile or non-motile which is known as hanging drop preparation he also discovered various staining techniques to observe the bacteria more clearly and uh, their morphological details can be more better understood he also developed techniques for pure culture that we can get bacteria uh, in a single colony on our culture medium he also discovered microbacterium tuberculosis in 1882 and vibrio cholerae in 1883 and he was made to appear as saint george who killed the dragon the idea of cock becoming compared to a saint or knight shows his influence across the world because tuberculosis was considered a very major disease and because he his contribution in identifying the mycobacterium tuberculosis as a cause of tb has opened many more ways to deal with the disease he also gave the cox postulate and basically it is first indicated by Henley but later on refined or enunciated by the cock so this uh, postulates tell us whether a bacteria which is uh, found with the lesion is actually causative organism for that disease or not so there are four main conditions for it that first of all the bacteria should be constantly associated with the lesions of the disease so constant presence uh, of bacteria should be there with the lesions of disease fine second you should be able to isolate that bacteria in pure culture from the lesion okay and third condition is if you inoculate that pure culture in the suitable laboratory animal it should reproduce the same kind of lesion and again from those lab lesions 
lab induced lesions if you can re-isolate the same bacteria in pure culture then and then you can say that okay this disease is caused by that bacteria so cox postulates it is a very important topic frequently asked in exam so louis posture and robert Koch. these are two very important topics you don't want to um, uh, forget them for the exam please read them very carefully so first postulate was constant association second is culture third is inoculation of culture will produce the same disease and fourth is if you reculture it it will isolate the same organism and pasture and cock has uh, trained so many students and later on these students become themselves very fine medical microbiologists and they have made tremendous discoveries like Hansen who has uh, discovered Leprobacillus, Neisser who has discovered Neisseria gonorrhoeae or Gonococcus, Oxton who has discovered Staphylococcus, Loeffler who has discovered Diphtheria bacillus, Bruce who has uh, discovered Malta fever caused by Brucella and rocks and yersin who has discovered diphtheria toxin then we have father of chemotherapy that is paul alleg he was also a german scientist he first he was the first to report acid fast nature of tuberculosis bacilli and he also developed very staining techniques uh, to stain tissues and blood cells um, he also shows uh, tax toxin and antitoxin interaction and this is also known as Alec phenomena hence so he also introduced various methods of standardizing toxin and antitoxin so yes Paul Alec has made an important contribution and he's considered father of chemotherapy because um, why it is called father of chemotherapy because uh, he discovered selvarsen an arsenical compound uh, which was considered at that time a magic bullet uh, because of effective and medical treatment for syphilis and he also received Nobel Prize in physiology and medicine for his contribution in immunology in 1908 and there is also uh, an institute named based on Paul Ehrlich in Germany then we have the great Hans Christian Graham this person has contributed only one thing and that is still being used and this is still a very tremendous contribution he developed the gram staining technique this technique make bacteria more visible under microscope more differentiable and it has divided the entire spectrum of bacteria into two parts gram positive and gram negative we will talk more about gram staining in our upcoming sessions and lectures so if you have not subscribed to our channel please do that so that you get regular updates about the videos when we post them then have, there is Charles Chamberlain. He constructed porcelain bacterial filter. He was uh, the first one to identify the first virus pathogen, that is TMV, tobacco mosaic virus. Then we have Alexander Fleming. Obviously, he's famous for penicillin, which has destroyed the staphylococcal infections. And uh, because of this penicillin discovery, he was uh, given Nobel in 1945. Then we have Ernest Ruska who was the founder of electron microscope we have good posture who has uh, developed viral cultivation techniques in chick embryo then we have lady mary who has introduced variolation for immunizing against smallpox then we have ali maknikov who has described phagocytosis and coined the term phagocyte we have amy Klein Berger, who has described the existence of L form of bacteria. We have Baba McClintock, who has described the mobile genetic element that's jumping gene within the bacteria. So, from chromosome, uh, from one gene to other site, they can jump and transfer the elements. Then we have uh, Frederick Sanger and Walter Gilbert who had developed the method of DNA sequencing, famously known as Sanger sequencing. Then we have Caribbean Millis, who was awarded Nobel Prize for his discovery on finding the polymerase chain reaction of PCR, which we are using today. Few other important contributions like Twart and Dahle, who has uh, identified lytic phenomena in bacterial culture, Von Baring and Ketasto, who has found 
discovered antibody, Bordet about humoral immunity, John about natural selection theory, Burnett and clonal selection theory. We will learn more about this theory and much in detail when we will talk about immunology sessions. So I hope that this lecture was very interesting and uh, you have got some insights about history of medical microbiology. So let's play a quick quiz uh, of what we have learned and this quiz is sponsored by qworld.co.in it is the best online platform for anyone who is preparing for either mbbs examination or any kind of competitive entrance examination whether it is usmle blab all india entrance neat pg or next so there is a photographic uh, quiz uh, because sometimes we remember the person but we do not remember uh, their visual appearance and it is very important to remember them for, for their tremendous contribution so i have first seen the microorganism i know you all know the answer antony van leeuwenhoek so it is a that's how he looked i had developed the first vaccine that was edward jenner i am the father of microbiology louis posture i am the father of antiseptic surgery joseph lister I'm the father of chemotherapy, Paul Alec. I discovered the gram staining, Christian Brown. I developed vaccine for cholera, Robert Koch. I invented PCR, polymerase chain reaction, Caribe Millis. I discovered phagocytosis, Maknikov. I discovered hanging drop method to detect motility of bacteria, Robert Koch. I discovered anthrax bacillus, Robert Cock. I adapt a vaccine for anthrax. Robert Cock. Thank you for listening to this lecture. And if you want more lectures, kindly put your suggestions and comments, uh, and we will surely post a new video about it. Thank you.